It's late Monday night, December the 2nd. And what are we doing? Working with the Christmas tree, which is infinitely fun. This Christmas tree stays up most of the year. Uh, it's either an Easter tree or it's a Valentine tree, etc. So this Christmas, we wanted something a little bit different to take pictures of the, uh, the hand-stitched felt dog ornaments. So we're putting little tiny red balls and red embroidery floss, reds and pinks. Uh, you will remember that I had the trim, the, the ribbons, rolled into balls that were an Easter egg tree last year, I think. So this time we're having fun with the embroidery floss. What we ran into with the pictures that we're trying to take is that we had these very ugly silver hooks. I know there's some fancy ones, but, you know, we can't go. We needed to stick with what we had. So we took all the ornaments off and spray-painted the silver hooks, and they're now modeled white hooks. One thing that interests me greatly is how much the quality of your Christmas ornaments or accessories have changed. This is one that probably dates from 1959 or earlier, and you can see through the years that the, the wire has gotten thinner and thinner. Until now, what I was able to find is just this very thin wire. So if you've got the older stuff, hang on to it because it's a better quality. Now, let me show you the, some of the little balls that we're playing with. I love, and these are balls for a feather tree. That's how I usually search for and find them. The vintage ones are loads of fun. They're very breakable, but I love to find the vintage ones. So if you happen, happen to have some little red or any size, any color of feather tree Christmas balls, they're usually an inch and a quarter and below. If you have any that you are willing to trade for something, ooh, I'd love to trade. Now let me show you what's brand new and will be arriving Friday and it's something new for me and it's something new for the farm. That's our very first Christmas card. We had about two or three weeks in November that I was down from doing what I normally do so I had time to stitch and I whipped up this Christmas card. It did take about three weeks, uh, some 60, 70 hours to stitch, but it was so much fun. So we photographed it and we found a place to print it and this coming Friday, December the 6th, we'll have our hard, uh, very thick board Christmas card, very thick stock. We'll be arriving and we'll be shipping Friday and so forth. So the very first run, the very first printing, like a first edition book, the very first run of them, I'll sign every card. I'll put my name on every card. And then if we go to a second printing, for the rest of this year or next year, whatever. Uh, those won't be like a limited edition first issue. I won't be signing those cards. But I will be signing the very first one. So uh, check me on Facebook or the website or the blog to find where to buy these cards. We're selling six cards with envelopes for $10. All right, that's what's going on the farm for tonight. I'm Penny Sanford, and I hope you'll see us again soon.